So this activity is asking you to map various geographic features found in Washington. So you're going to have a couple of different options on how to do this. Uh, normally this is done in a classroom where I give you a printout page and you label the features and hand it in to me. Uh, this time we're going to be doing it distantly on, um, distantly on the computers here. So two options are you can access a Google Docs blank map. This is a great choice if you have access to a printer and the ability to either scan your completed map back in or take a picture of it with your phone, save that image and submit the saved file. If you don't have that technology or that capacity capability, another really good option is opening this Google Slides blank map. Um, and so when you click on that option, this is going to let you directly edit the document itself and put on the specific features that you'll be asked to add. There's going to be 29 different features you have to do. So when you open the template link, it opens up to my version and this is protected. So that means you can't add any writing or texts or images or anything to this. You need to make your own copy. If you look in the upper right corner, it says sign in. You cannot make a copy of any of my templates until you are logged into your Google account. So you'll need to hit sign in, or you could go ahead and sign in ahead of time, uh, just through Google directly. Get that. Get my password in there. And then it's going to open up and show me now an icon of my initial to show that I am logged in and I can then go to file, make a copy and click entire presentation. No thanks, I don't want that saved. You can save it as a copy of Washington State blank map or you can give it its own name. Oh, I might say Graham, it really doesn't matter. Uh, and then it automatically saves into your My Drive, which is just your online basically an online free file drive, uh, flash drive type of thing uh, for you to save all your documents in. So you hit OK. Now it's going to open up your version that you can directly edit. It'll have my old version along with your new version. You don't need this original copy from me anymore, so you can click out of that just so that you're not confused. So now that that is opened, you need to start putting in a list of features. You can find that list of features on the direction to the assignment page. It says features of Washington. I have it opened up here. This, is, this activity is going to require you to flip between a lot of different pages, but it's all possible. So these are the 29 different features that you need to add to your map. So to start with, it says Cascade Mountains. Well, where are the Cascade Mountains located? Again, back on this assignment page, there's this Washington State map that if you click on, it takes you to this. Now cutting right through almost the middle of the state, it says Cascade Range. So I'm going to go to my slide and insert a text box. When I click on that, I can then go and create a text box anywhere I want. And because the Cascade range, the Cascade Mountains takes up a lot of space, we can go ahead and write this fairly large Cascade Mountains. Oops. Okay, so I want this to be just one long text so I can adjust my text box so that it fits. That, but I don't want it going across the state, I want it going vertically. So this little circle up at the top Let's me grab and spin so that I can have the Cascade Mountains text tilted. Then I take my crosshairs and I, oops, then I grab my text box, I click and I drag it to about where I want it to be. I'm going to kind of have it cut through my mountains, but not completely because I am going to have to label these different mountains. All right, so then I go back. All right, that one's completed. Uh, I could even, well, you can't edit this because this is my version. If you wanted to edit it, you again would have to sign in and make a copy, but 
Cascade Mountains are done. You'll then go through and find all of the different ones. If you can't find it on the map here, feel free to open up a, uh, just Google it uh, and find out a map that can show you where it is that you're looking for. So if I look at this, I see the Columbia River. I see the Snake River coming up here. There's Spokane, um, Mount Baker, Mount Rainier is located here, Mount St. Helens, Mount Adams. So I can find all of those features on my map, Mount St. Helens, Mount Adams. Uh, I think this one's Glacier. So you'll have to, oh yeah, Glacier Peak. There's Glacier Peak there. Um, and those are all specific volcanoes you're supposed to identify, identify where Puget Sound is. So you just keep adding text boxes. So this is the Strait of Juan de Fuca. So I can enter a text box here. Generally, you are gonna wanna make the text smaller though to fit into these little spaces. So to do that, you create your text box, you go up to the font size where it says 14, and eight is a good legible size. Strait of Juan de Fuca. Oh, okay. I spelled the wrong straight. All right. So thankfully, Google, uh, Grammarly and all that, they have my back. So I spelled it correctly. So right there. So just keep adding. You can, again, tilt text if you need to, to kind of really let it fall in where you want it to. And then the final thing is you need to pick your own city that's not on this list to add to it. Once you're done with that, it is a saved document and you can create a Google automatically saved. So this is what you would then, you can close out of this once you're all done. And then where on the assignment page where mine says publish, yours is gonna say submit assignment. You would click on that, connect to your Google Drive, and then you would be able to find the slides presentation of your map to be able to turn it in uh, if you, well, yeah, you wouldn't have been able to add a Google Doc, but uh, it's up to you however you're, you can and want to do this, uh, but just make sure you identify all of those features and go ahead and submit it.